we owe you. The last thing we needed to worry about was being accosted by bandits. You look well. My people have been telling tales of your accomplishments. Seems you have taken a special interest in our stretch of snow outlander. Yes. And apparently this is the only way I'll get to see all of it. Is this a challenge? For the Warrack. You? <laughs> this must be a joke. It is not a joke, Eratok. The Outlander's your pawn. And with you backing her claim, I have no choice but to accept. I expected better of you, sister. It was you who forbid me from Thunder's drum, brother. Brother and sister? This is a little more complicated than I thought. No, it's simple. You will meet me at the Frost Figures. And I'll put a quick end to this mockery. I suppose I owe you an explanation. Yeah. I suppose you do. So why didn't you tell me that you and Aratok are siblings? I thought I wouldn't have to. I'm surprised Aratok brought it up in front of a stranger. He must be very angry. Not always the best judge of people. I prefer the company of spirits. They're simply my own. I didn't want you to think of our pilgrimage as some sort of family squabble. It's much more important than that. It's bold, I'll give you that. Going after your own brother. He gave me no choice. He thinks I'm a child to be shoved to the back of the hunt. He would forbid me from my destiny. And yet... Part of me did it knowing he would forgive me, eventually. He always does. Family drama aside, what's this challenge meant to be anyway? You and Aratok will hunt machines at the Frost Figures. The victor will be the fastest. It won't be easy. Nothing about this has been so far. When you meet us at the starting point, I'll tell you more. It will be simpler to explain from the base of the hills. Aurea, it's not about who's related to who. I want to know what's inside Thunder's drum. The spirit, the daemon, and how it all connects to the machines. But if we're gonna go through with this, I need you to be straight with me. I... underestimated you. And Aratak. I won't make that mistake again. See you at the Frost Figures, then. So, off to risk my life in order to take charge of the new hunting band. Just what I always wanted. Frost figures, here I come. Outlander. 
I have prevailed over such challenges before, and fear none. But this one is foolish. You are not Banuk. You do not understand my responsibilities. I ask you, one hunter to another, withdraw. Will you let us go to Thunderstrom? You haven't seen what's up there, Outlander. I will not risk my sister's life again. Then we better get on with this. So be it! I will bury your insolent claim in the frozen ground! Enough! Let us begin! To hunt! To strive! That is the way of the Banuk and of the contest before you. You will climb the frost figures from the east, Aratok from the west. Each trail wends its way through deadly machines. Hunters from the Werak will be posted along the way. They will hail you, calling out machines for you to slay. Your hunt will take you around the ridge to the center, where you must descend to the valley for your final kill. Each time, after your prey has fallen, you must launch a beacon such as this so that all our kin will see your progress. Kill machines, launch balloons. Got it. So, the first of us to launch the third balloon wins? Well, yes. And as challenger, your path to victory is harder. If even one of your beacons comes in after Aratox, he prevails. <laughs> you had your chance, Outlander. So did you. The hunt begins on my mark. Gotta head up that mountain. Looks like there are a few ways to go up. And those rock paintings mark the pass. Okay, up we go. Wasting it. Take out the herd below. Every machine. Kill the herd. Okay.
go. Now climb the ridge and launch your balloon. Haratok knows what he's doing. No time to waste. Take the rappel point to the next challenge. Get to the next challenge. Two Bellowbacks ahead, Challenger. Kill them both. None of the other machines matter. Right. Two dead Bellowbacks coming up. Now take the zip line and work your way down to the valley. challenge. Something's wrong. My kin should be here, driving in our final quarry. It's true. Frostclaws from Thunder's Drum. The attack cut short the competition. Naturally, there can be no result. It is void.
You saw what she did. She defeated the machines, not I. It is proven. She's the better hunter. We are Banuk. Survive, prevail. What else matters? My blood is in your teeth. I take my place behind you on the hunt. No more hunters may make the ascent to Thunder's Drum. The way is closed to all but the Chieftain and myself. It is not my place, but I would ask a boon to accompany you and my sister. It might be permitted. But only if you do as I say. No. Only if you do as I say. Thunder's drum awaits. There's a camp at its base, Long Notch it's called. Meet us there when you're ready. Chieftain. A new outfit, and a weapon like Aratox. I guess the Chieftain gets the Chieftain's gear. Marjo will want to take a look at the ice rail. Everything's freezing. The ground, the air, me.
go. Here, flaming skulls. For the last time, Orkite, that is not our name. Maybe we should table this argument until after the hunt. gets my blood running like the hunt. That's another part down. One more and you'll have what you need to pay off Burgrind. Starting to feel real, you know. I'm starting to believe we're really gonna get out of here. Honestly, I wasn't sure we'd survive a week without Nikoni. But here we are. Who's Nikoni? Nikoni... Nikoni was... She was a friend of ours. She challenged the chieftain for control of our... of the Werak. She didn't make it. No. If you're gonna tell this story... Tell it true. She was murdered. Is this why you left Benor? Because of this business with Nikoni and your chieftain? Onika knew Nikoni was our mentor, our friend. We couldn't stay. That final night, we snuck back to camp, packed what we could, and left. Like cowards. What are we to tie? We are Banuk, aren't we? Survive and prevail. That's what we do. It's not what she did. Nikoni challenged the chieftain. Why? Only Cup wrapped himself in power and authority the way some people wrap themselves in furs. If you were willing to fawn over him and sing false songs to him, you might get a spot on the best hunts. The Werak split into two. Those willing to lick the bottoms of Onikut's feet and the rest of us, waiting for things to get better. Until Nikoni. She was the best and bravest of us. She was the one who took a stand. What happened? How did you lose Nakoni? She challenged the chief into a hunting competition. Oni could damn him. He wasn't nearly the hunter Nakoni was. But who comes back to the camp after the trial? Oni could. Grinning like a snap maw, crowing, Oh, where's little Nukoni? We tracked Nukoni through the woods, found her not far from the trailhead. With her damn neck snapped. I don't want to remember her like that. But sometimes that memory, it's all I can think of. I'm sorry to tie it. It sounds like she meant a lot to you, to all of you. I'm sorry for what you've been through. It's nice to be heard. Thank you, Anway. Look, it doesn't matter, okay? What happened in Bonoer is buried in Bonoer. What matters now is what happens in the Sundom. That's where the burning turkeys are gonna make a name for ourselves, right? Oh, the burning turkeys? Seriously? It rolls off the tongue. Sort of like vomit? So, where to next? There's a lake just west of here. Seems like a good place to find a snap, Malfang. We'll meet you there. If you beat us there, just wait by the campfire. We'll be along.
sound of me. I was starting to worry about you three. Everything all right? We took our time. After our last conversation, we had a lot to think about. I can imagine. Just one more hunt, then your debt is paid and you three can make your way south. Ready? Huntress, the sunshine snowshoes await your signal. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible! I'm almost impressed, Dulamok. Didn't think you could come up with a name worse than Burning Turkeys. Well, I liked it. Let's hunt. Are we done here? I can't spare the weight. We did it. <laughs> Come here, we really Let's did it. Proper goodbye, huh? There. That's the last of Bergren's parts. Looks like you three are out of debt. For now. Until Orkai breaks something else. It was one time! You make a nice shaman, Aloy. Thanks for lending a hand. Maybe we'll meet you in the Sundom sometime. Once you get to the Sundom, what then? What's the next step? We hunt like Nikoni wanted to hunt. Nikoni had big dreams. A werak in which everyone pulls their weight and takes care of each other. No shamans, no chieftains, no need to pry the power out of anybody's hands. Sounds like a lot of work. Mm, but worth it, I think. And a fitting tribute to Nikoni. We can become the werak she always wished for. You won't have me to strip your kills now. Are you three gonna be all right? Eh, uh, doesn't look that hard, really. We'll be fine. <sighs> Great. He washes three successful harvests and he's suddenly a shaman. When you get to Song's Edge, talk to Bergrant. If he can't teach you himself, he'll know someone who can. Sure. And I bet he charges us for the introduction. Uh, thank you, Aloy. I'm sure we'll figure it out.
I guess this is goodbye. How does it feel, putting Banuk lands behind you? The only thing I would have missed is already gone. Let all those rotten Bonor suck-ups freeze to death. It's a little much, Urkai, don't you think? It's strange. What is it to be Banuk after Banur forsakes you? How do we decide who we are? How about you, Aloy? Who do you think we are? What will you remember of us? You lost someone you care about. That leaves a wound. The sort of wound a lot of people don't recover from. Yeah. I've got nothing but scars to show for it. That's the point. Only survivor scar. After everything you've been through, you keep going. We're the Stars of the North. Scars of the North. Sounds pretty tough, doesn't it? Thank you, Aloy. It's a good name. One will honor. Feels like sunburn. Grind, how'd your investment payout? Quite handsomely, thanks very much. You know those three crazy Banuk are calling themselves the Scars of the North now? <laughs> well, now that I have those parts, I can pay off a debt of my own. So they've gone south then? Aye, that they have. I've got a friend in the Sundom by the name of Otur. He owes me a favor. Old Otur is a machine scavenger, a pretty competent one. So I sent them to learn from the best. Or at least from the pretty competent. Well, we work with the resources we have. Speaking of which, here, a token of my gratitude.
find anything interesting lately? I might have. Let's talk. I've got a nice rail, just like our talks. You want to take a look? Uh, are you serious? Y yes, yes, I love that. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Obvious design flaw. So if I replace these, yeah, that should... <sighs> right, so believe it or not, she's operating at, let's be generous, half her potential. What's with the she's? Oh, Pop says all weapons are girls. I don't think he realizes it's a compliment. Uh, well, listen, if we had a Thunderjaw's mandibles to work with, her gears would be well and truly greased. And I know where to find one, if you want to go hunting with me. Remind me what we need to fix up this thing? That Thunderjaw's mandibles will do it. So, a Thunderjaw hunt. They seem pretty rare up here. Not that I'm complaining. That's why we should get out of the cut for a while. Hunt one in the valley meet. I'll wait for you out there. Easier for me to work with parts before the metal goes cold. Is Bergwin going to be okay with this? Eh. If we can handle a thunder jaw, we can handle Pop. I remember the last time the claws beneath migrated to the cut. What a fierce machine it is. Even if I cared to travel south, I'd not get much further than the grave. Long Notch is well stocked, as you asked. And our scouts are watching for more frost claws. Our numbers rise. Three more hunters have passed their trials. Watch. Those bandits will put the weak and helpless in the ground. Outlander, I've heard of you, Huntress. Each of the many verses of your song tells of an impossible victory. The notes echo across the cut. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. Hmm. That I know. My song used to echo around Banur. Umnok, the hunter of legendary machines. That's why I'm here. For another. They call it the Claws Beneath. Or they did when I was younger. Its defeat would have given my song a fine end. Oh, yeah. I used to travel between Banur and the Cut without stopping to sleep. But this trip... My bones ache, Huntress. But you... Out hunting Aratak. Leading your own Werak. If half your song is true, you are the only hunter I trust to go in my place. You want me to hunt for you? Not just for me, no. For an old friend. You want me to hunt in your place? Is that some kind of Banuka custom? Well, perhaps it should be, but no. We survive and we prevail, until we fail to do either. I confess, this is not easy for me. For any other machine, I would die as I have lived. A Banuka hunter, weapon raised. But too many good lives have been lost to the claws. Throwing my old corpse atop the pile accomplishes nothing. Better to live in a world without the claws, than to die while it still makes children orphans. Sounds like you've got a reputation. To be Banuk is to push your body to its limits. I found my limits higher than most. Fearsome machines needed killing, and in my youth, I found I had a talent for killing them. Even now, my name carries such weight that when the claws beneath re-emerged, the Werak came to me. Do you still have the same faith in yourself that your Werak seems to have? Perhaps I did. Before I held my bow in shaking hands. Noticed, for the first time, the spots on my knuckles. What a strange thing it is to be old. To stare backward and see such distance but to stare forward at a looming wall. This machine, the claws beneath, why travel all the way to the cut just to hunt it? Some songs. They include a refrain, the return of a past moment. It seemed fitting. You've hunted this thing before. 
Must have been twenty winters past. We were so close to bringing the Claws to bay. Closer than anyone else ever got. We? Me. And my friend. He was a chieftain of my Warak then. A skilled hunter. Every few years, the Claws would emerge in a new location. I knew of two chieftains he'd sent to their burial pyres. My friend became the third. This hunt... I had hoped to complete it in his honor. This is... obviously important to you, Unnak. Are you sure you want someone else to take down this machine? Well, I am no longer a match for the claws beneath. If I ever was. If I face it, it will kill me. Of this I have no doubt. The Banuk blood in my veins screams at me to take on the claws myself. But I must see it brought down. And dead men see precious little. All right, Umnok. I'll do what I can. I've no doubt you can do quite a lot. The stories say the Claws Beneath returns here only once every six winters. The whispers I've heard say it now makes its home on the northeast edge of the cut. Hunt well. The Osiram, with their ridiculous ideas about women. How many great warriors have they ignored? But our purpose was to take back the mountain. Now what? Stay prepared. Sharpen your spears. Should we not return, defending the cut falls to you. If our chieftain agrees with this course. Sounds like good advice, but let's hope it doesn't come to that. Chieftain? The weight of command is no small burden. I can see that. I take it you haven't spoken to Araya yet? Why should I? This is what she wanted, to return to Thunder's Drum. It is her only care. So I should have known she would find a way to push aside my spear. After the Karja took my sister, not all of her came back. What happened to Araya when she was a captive of the Karja? As a shaman, she's adept with machines. Tracking them, stunning them. The Karja used her to capture them for the Sunring, where they were unleashed upon the innocent. They made her part of their blood sport. The shame. She suffered beneath their pitiless sun. She survived. She endured. Endured by reminding herself of the spirit. Her purpose. But now that's all she has. Tell me what happened to the first expedition. Rhea led the way to the summit. But it was blocked by a great door. Some kind of cauldron. New metal. We tried to break through. But it was unflinching. We were exhausted. No way forward and machines behind. I made the call to push back. It cost us greatly. But to remain would have cost us everything. I had hoped to never subject Araya to that again. What do you think is beyond that door? I do not know. That expanse of metal? That dead hum? Nothing sacred belongs there. Machines and death, that's what the mountain holds. Death for us, or 
for the demon. And if we do find the spirit? Then perhaps we should put it out of its misery. For what it's worth, I'm glad you're coming with me. Hmm. Someone has to keep Araya safe.